So now we bring everything from the previous videos together to optimize delay in a logic chain. The givens of the problem are that we have a chain of logic gates, each gate is different. We know the number of gates, we know the types of gates, we know the size of the first gate, we know the output capacitance that we have to drive, but we don't know the sizes of all the gates in the chain other than the first one. And the objective is to find the sizes of these gates so that we minimize the delay in the entire chain, so that we minimize TP, not TPJ. We have already found an expression for TPJ, which is TPJ equals TP0 into PJ plus GJ times FJ over gamma, where PJ is the electrical effort of stage J and GJ is the uh, logical effort of stage J. So let's figure out what we can calculate um, from the givens, what we can calculate a priori, and then start doing the optimization. We can actually uh, calculate um, J, uh, PJ, and GJ for all stages. So we can calculate the electrical efforts and the uh, logical efforts of all the stages, just because we know what gates they are. We don't, know, we, need, we don't need to know the sizes of the gates to be able to calculate these two quantities. These are uh, properties of the gates, not of their sizes. And so we can calculate P and G for all stages. So this can be calculated in advance. Uh, we can also prove that the uh, product of all fanout, all stage fanouts, is equal to CL by CG naught. Why? Because nothing has changed from the case of the inverter chain. The product of all stage fanouts is F0 times F1 times F2 all the way up to Fn minus 1. And if we expand, this is going to be CG1 over CG0 times uh, CG2 over CG1 uh, and so on, all the way up to CG n minus 1 over CG n minus 2 times CL times CG n minus 1. And everything is going to cancel out except for CL by C0. And so we can calculate this product, which we called the chain fan out, and we still call it the chain fan out. And it still represents the same thing. It represents the question of what if the entire chain was a black box and we don't know what's inside it? What is the fan out of this black box? And the fan out of this black box would be CL by CG0, because these are the only two quantities that we can see at the ports of this black box. So we can calculate the G's and we can cal calculate the P's. We can cal also calculate the capital F. Note that the capital F is going to always be CL by C0, regardless of what the small f's are. So this, all of these are valid regardless of the sizes of the gates. And so we can do this um, once we begin. Now, the expression of TP, the total delay of the, of the chain, is equal to summation of TP0 into PJ plus GJ. Uh, times fj over gamma, and this is over j. And the objective of this problem is to minimize tp uh, and find the sizing that minimizes tp. So again, we don't have size in the, in the expression, so we cannot differentiate with respect to size, but we do have cgj, so we can differentiate with respect to cgj, because gate capacitance and size are exactly the same thing. So Again, when we talk about the summation, at first it might seem daunting because we have to differentiate so many terms, but CG does not make an appearance except in two uh, delay uh, expressions, the delay expression of stage J minus one and the delay expression of stage J. In stage J, it appears in the uh, denominator. In stage J minus one, it appears in the numerator. And so we are basically differentiating only two terms. So the first term is uh, going to be uh, for stage j minus 1. So we have pj minus 1 plus gj minus 1 divided by gamma into uh, cgj divided by cgj minus 1, which is fj. And the second term is going to be uh, tp0 into pj plus gj over gamma times cgj plus 1 over cgj. So it makes an appearance once as the capacitance of the current stage and once as a loading capacitance on the previous stage. And we equate this, uh, this uh, differentiation with null to find the optimal value. And so when we perform this differentiation, um, we end up with uh, minus um, CGJ plus 1 over CGJ squared times GJ over gamma 
plus gj minus 1 over gamma times 1 over cjj minus 1. And then equate this with 0. And so we end up with uh, gj cgj plus 1 over cgj equal to gj minus 1 times cgj over cgj minus 1. Now this is fj and this is fj minus 1. And so what this tells us is that for us to have the optimal delay, gj times fj must be equal to gj minus 1 times fj minus 1. Recall for the, for the inverted chain, the uh, result of optimization was that fj equals fj minus 1. But that's because in the delay equation, we only had fj over gamma making an appearance in the second term. Here we had g times f, and so we ended up with the fact that g times f has to be constant for all stages. And so what this tells us is that we have to have this product be constant for all stages. Now this product seems to have a significance because it appears in our solution. So we have to give it a name. And the name, the symbol would be h small. So this tells us that h small j is equal to h small j minus 1. So the symbol is h small and the name is total effort. And we say that this is the stage total effort. So this is the total effort that the stage expends in order to drive the external load. And it's divided between two components. The effort that it expends to overcome its own complexity in the form of logical effort and the effort that it expends to drive the load itself in the form of fan out. And so we don't only have to account for fan out now, we also have to account for the complexity of the gate through logical effort. So again, this is a result and it's an important result, but it doesn't tell us how to solve the optimization problem. To do this, we have to understand that we have already calculated F capital as CL over CG naught, and this is independent of whether we have performed optimization or not. It's independent of the final sizes of the gates. We can also calculate something called uh, G capital, which is the uh, chain logical effort. So we have calculated the logic, have calculated the logic efforts for uh, every stage, G small. If we calculate their uh, product, pi G small, we end up with something called G capital, which is the chain logical effort. We can calculate this again a priori because once we are given the problem, we can calculate the, uh, elect the logical efforts of all the stages uh, in, the, in the chain, and uh, we can calculate capital G. And so we can also calculate capital H, which is F times G, and H is the chain total effort, which is equal to uh, F capital times G capital, which we can uh, calculate both of them, so we can calculate H capital, but it's also equal to pi F small times pi G small. So it's equal to the product of all the Fs times the product of all the Gs, which means it is equal to the product of all the Fs times the g's, which means that it is equal to the product of all the h's. So this is true always that h small is equal to the product of all the small, h capital is the product of all the small h's. Once we do optimization though, we know that hj minus 1 is equal to hj, which means that all the h's, all the small h's are equal to a constant number that is not dependent on the stage. And that number is h optimal, which means that h capital is equal to h optimal times uh, to the power of n. So we know that h capital is also equal to f capital times g, which allows us to calculate h optimal as the nth root of f times g. So what happens is we are given the chain of logic, we are given cl and cg naught, we calculate f capital, we calculate g capital, we take the nth root. This allows us to calculate the optimal stage total effort. Once we know H optimal, we take it to every stage and we equate it with F times G. We, are, we know G, which allows us to calculate F, which allows us to know the optimal size of the gate in that stage. There is a lot of similarity between this solution and the solution of the inverter chain because the solution of the inverter chain is a special case of this solution where g small is equal to 1 for all stages and p small is equal to 1 for all stages.